Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be playing Detective Stella Porta Case. It's a first person investigation game. Shout out to Lurk It for the, uh, the code for me to redeem this game. Thank you so much. Let's go. And this is my first time playing this game. I love all like investigative detective game like the last detective game i've ever played was honestly alan wake 2 and that was amazing i mean it took me a few tries to kind of put everything together on the mind board with both um the fbi agents and as well as alan wake but for alan wake it was more putting together a book rather than investigating a case like murder cases and putting it together in order to find the connection right so uh yeah like and subscribe this video on youtube man let's go and we're going to deep dive into detective stella porter case okay all right so espanol english English. New game. If you continue, your current game will be deleted. You want to continue? Yeah, because I never play this. This is my first time. Like, <laughs> yeah. Never played this before. The journey begins. Case one. Th three is too many. Oh. All right. There, there is a missing mother. Never mind. Her name is Adern Maya. A neighbor alerted the police to screaming and crying from a woman. When an agent arrived at the scene, he found two bodies of two children. We have identified them and they are Adern's children. They were seven and eight years old. Aww. Nothing else has been touched. Collect the evidence you find and take it to the police station. Oh. Okay, to collect evidence, place the pointer over the objects. If you can interact, a new white circle will appear. Okay, when evidence is collected, a white line appears around the object and a yellow marker appears. At that time, you will already have the evidence saved to use it later. Uh, in your notebook, you will be able to see how many evidences you have and how many are missing. In addition, you will be able to view basic information about each evidence you have collected. When you're done, go back to the exit door. Okay. Oh, I only have two out of 13. Okay. Okay, give me one second, because I know I'm supposed to... Oh, there's more over there, too. Unless I don't have to go there. Three out of 13. Okay, so we're on the right track. Yeah, because why is there a police badge on the floor? was someone who was involved in this a police officer four out of 13 okay perfect oh his face So I'm actually supposed to, every time I collect evidence, I'm actually supposed to press R2 in order to circle it and then put an indication that this is the evidence that we're collecting. So, okay. So far, I like this game. Like I said before, I like investigative games and puzzles and story-based games, so. Okay. We're gonna put something here also, because I feel like seems like they were drinking so we got six out of 13 so we're on the right track 
So then we see someone else's phone also. So that might give us information as to who. Oh, there we go. And it comes up right on screen. It says, remember that today we have the meeting of the Alcoholics Anonymous. So it seems like someone in the family had a drinking problem. And so you see a text message is here. I'm guessing this is mom to dad. And the dad got very violent and probably started drinking. And, you know, maybe something happened with the children where he accidentally killed the children. We don't know. So let's see. Uh, wait a minute, they're knocking on the door. Everything is all right. I'm at the meeting and you're not here. You've never been absent. Dern, why don't you answer? I'm worried. So maybe... Oh, so the, both parents were drinking. So they both had a drinking problem. And it seems like maybe mom was at because it because if you see at the top of the phone you see a girl icon right so maybe that must have been mom that was at the meeting and they're usually in together for the meeting and it seems like dad was alone with the kids and someone started knocking on the door so maybe the person that was knocking on the door is probably the person that came in started blasting and just shot the kids man okay Oh, we can actually open the drawers like this. That's cool. Can we close it? Yes. We, I don't know why we can uh, put an indicator there, because that's another body. It is sad. Okay, what is this? Stella Porta. You have been selected to be part of the Stella Porta, a redemption project for extreme crimes. If you agree to join the project, you must sign this document and leave everything behind. We will provide you with everything you need. What? I wonder what kind of project that was. Oh, Hospital City, allergen result. Extremely allergic to peanuts. Extremely allergic to peanuts. Oh, so Adel Maya, Hector Maya. So they're both allergic to peanuts. Oh, there's something here. No? Okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything. We already did that. Oh, right here. I didn't even see that. Police notice. A warning has been received for very loud screaming. The children... The screams sounded like children. Oh. Okay, so we need like two more. Oh, here it is. Free alcohol promotion. Okay. So now we need one more. So it says firm conversation, alcohol samples, child allergic to peanuts, complaint by screaming, Stella Porter contract. All right, so we need one more evidence to fully uh, finish the case. All well, the case evidence, at least. There we go. Knife with butter peanut with peanut butter. How many do we have? Okay. So do we leave now? Because we, we got all of our evidence or... Okay, there we go. If you leave before final evidence, you may not be able to solve the crime. Police station. Bro, the last evidence was literally in the sink. I didn't even see that. So you really have to look in the crooks and crannies. 
Back home! Okay. To solve the case, you must order the photographs chronologically. They have to be in order in which the crime happened. On the table, you have the secondary evidence collected at the crime scene. These evidence will help you solve the case. You can consult them as many as you want. Okay? In this part, you can check the resolved cases and how the investigation is progressing. It will be completed as progress is made. When you're done, go back to the exit door. So this is kind of like Alan Wake 2. This is this is what this game really reminds me of. Alan Wake 2, when, when it came down to um, playing as the a FBI agent, every time we had to go into her mind and she had this board set up with all of her evidence with this uh huge murder case that she was working on that involved alan wake it going into like this like upside down dimension like freaking stranger things and shit okay so scenario one scenario two scenario three solve the case to see explanation okay Wait, so can we? Oh, okay, right here. This is what I was looking for. All right, so. I don't think it's right, but. So this is what I have in order. And so. I don't know why this thing is like. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, she's gonna shit out of me. All right, so part one: an un unidentified person approaches Erdurn Maya's door. This this person knew that Erdurn is an alcoholic and was in rehab to get over it. Before talking to Erdurn Maya, this person introduces diazepam into some of the sample alcohol beverages. We know this person might have access to medical records and medications. This person poses as a vendor and offers Adirin the drink samples in which she had previously introduced Zyapam. Adirin accepts. Oh, I thought this person identified themselves as the police. That's why we saw the badge there, but okay. Oh, okay. So we're going to read through like part by part as to what exactly happened. So now that we basically solved the case, I guess now... Part two, Adirn Maya drinks some of these bottles and falls unconscious. Once Adirn is asleep, this person enters the house and spreads peanut butter on both children's sandwiches. Wow, bro, that's fucked up. Knowing that the children are allergic to peanuts, she keeps them in the fridge so that when they get home from school, uh, they eat them. Uh, once the children eat the snacks, they die. Oh, once the children eat the snacks, they die within a few seconds. Yo, that's fucked up. I thought they got shot. Edirn is still unconscious. This person also has access to the children's medical records as he knows that they were extremely allergic to peanuts. It's funny because now we know it's a guy because they made the mistake of saying he. So because they, they kept saying this person, this I and I. I, uh, anonymous person, um, I, unidentified person. Now it's he. So it must have been the father since it was the mother that was home. That was crazy. 
part three. Later, once he has made sure that the children are dead, he accesses the home and wakes up Adern. Taking advantage of the fact that she is disoriented, she shows him a false police badge and a neighborhood complaint where she explains that some neighbors have called called alerted by children's screams the fake policeman makes Adern believe that she is an alcoholic she has inadvertently allowed her children to eat some of the food with peanuts and since she was very drunk she has committed a crime of involuntary manslaughter showing her the corpses of their children yo what kind of psychopath is this person oh my what? god that's fucked up what the fuck? Hence why we seen one of the kids' hands outside and they were eating a fucking sandwich, bro. That's fucking crazy. I thought they were just shot or something. Wow, I feel so sad. Okay, part four. Adirn Maya is in shock uh, and still under the influence of narcotics, believes that the policeman says it's true. Uh, taking advantage of that vulnerability, the fake policeman tells him that he has two options. The first is to go to jail and spend the rest of his life there. The second is a project called Stella Porta, explaining that it is a place for the redemption of the very of very serious crimes. For now, we do not have more information about what Stella Porta is, uh, but we do know that Adrian Maya agreed to join the project since she signed the document. Wow. I love investigations, puzzles, like these type of games. This is literally giving Alan Wake vibes. I hope I'm reading everything okay. I sound a little bit congested, but I do apologize. Like, if you want to, like, take revenge against someone, don't do not do it to the kids. Like, they had nothing to do. Once again, shout out to Lurkit.com for giving me the code for this game for free. It's a full game as well. Um, and I really appreciate um, love and support from Lurkit, man. Holy shit. Actually, the developers um, have sent me an invite to play this game and you know hopefully i can submit the content on their website so that others can watch uh this video and and get you know uh interested in playing this game so shout outs to them man let's go do you want to go back to the crime scene um no next case next case let's see Case two, opposite poles. Oh, shit. There is a young woman missing. A neighbor called a patrol because he saw the doors of the house open. Upon arrival, the patrol has not found anyone inside the house. There is a history of discussions according to the declaration of the neighbors. Nothing else has been touched. Collect the evidence you find and take it to the police station. Okay. Oh shit, she's got the shit out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Also, this is how people look. Oh, they look pretty good. You're not gonna Oh, citizen collaboration. What can you tell me about Alex and Sophia? Anything strange that happened in the last few days? Tell me about Alex and Sophia. When they moved here, everything was fine. They were lovely. Within a few months, they started arguing and more intensely. On several occasions, I had to call the police. Oh, she's one of the neighbors. Okay. Anything strange the last few days? Nothing too strange. This neighborhood is very quiet. One day I saw a delivery van in front of the house. It belonged to a gas gas company. I don't remember anything else that was strange. Okay. So maybe that gas man came into the house and pretended to be a gas man, but in fact, was something else. Oh. Oh. There's a gnome inside the house. Okay. Oh. The car door is open. Alright, so first things first. Let's do this. Team hospital alex anderson the patient presents a total loss of smell due to his allergy bro that's covid stop lying to me that's covid 
total loss of smell due to his allergy, bro. That's COVID. Stop lying. Because when I had COVID twice, that happened to me, actually. I lost my sense of smell. Yeah, I lost my sense of smell. So stop playing with me. That's fucking COVID. Shit. Is there anything in here? Yo, you really got to search for all the crooks and crannies, bro. All the crooks and crannies. Oh, shit. Even the fucking stove you can? What about here? Anything? Oh. You gotta touch everything, bro. Everything, because you never know if something is gonna be evidence. Is this what forensic forensic uh, team do? Where they gotta touch everything? Oh shit! Even the microwave open. Okay. Oh, I see a note on the fridge. What's this? Oh, never mind. Yo, where's the food? Do they not eat? Do they not believe in food? Yo. <laughs> Where's the food? So it says April 2023. So I'm assuming that this game came out last year. Okay, how many evidence do we need to find? We need to find 12. Okay. Okay. Anything here? Oh, what's that? Butane regulator? That must have been from that gas, man. Stop lying to me. What's this? Gas bill? So, gas company bill. Bill date. Bill 1983. Date. April 18, 2023, Julia Salguero, Tusco, Coast, Arizona, number, description, butane, $56, shipment, $35, price. Yeah, that was no gas person. And that doesn't even look like a legit gas bill. Oh, he, wait a minute, he left his ID again? Oh, let me see that. Is it the same guy? Oh, no, that's a different person. Hold on, what do we got? Oh, let's check over here. Okay, we can't open that. Okay. All right. I see an email. The time has come. I have sent you the contract with instructions. You know what to do. If you want to be accepted at Stella Porta, you have to pay the price. The contract shows coordinates that you need that you need to know the place where you have to go. Where what the hell is the Stella Porta project, bro? Like I want to know. It's been mentioned a few times already in this game. From work. Wait. Can we click on it? No. Oh, that's the gas tank, right? Butano bottle. Okay. Oh, teddy bear. Oh, you see a phone here. Okay. 
Uh, I can't stand Alex. Not anymore. Alex has become an extremist. He doesn't understand me. This has to be the, the girlfriend. He makes fun of my beliefs and ridicules me even in front of other people. I have found a forum called Truth and Freedom where there are many more people with this problem. I have discovered a new world. They lie to us. The reality is different from what they have told us. I am beginning to think that Alex manipulates me and belongs to the satanist. I have found a user called Cult. He told me about an organization called Stella Porta. I think for the first time in my life, I'm waking up. Holy shit. So now she's she's thinking of like going into, uh, into like going into this group, into this project. No? I thought there was blood there. I was like, what the hell? Oh, nice. Okay, I can get into the back. How many more evidence we need? We need three more. Okay, the car is here with the door. Oh, shit. You have been chosen to enter Stella Porta. You already know what to do. Leave your life behind and eliminate your ties. Let no one try to find you. That is scary as shit. Okay. But well, what what happened to Car repair tools? Oh, gee. Oh, what the fuck? I knew I seen a body. I was like, what the hell? A oh, that's Alex's corpse? Oh, shoot. Wow. Find Alex. Bro, that is not... Yeah, 12 out of 12. Yeah, we're going back to the police station. We're going to figure this shit out. Here we go again. All right, so now we have to put all these together. So, yeah, this is what, the what I got from the neighbor. This is from the text messages. This is from the computer. Okay. Okay, so this is basically what, um, oh shit, I didn't even, hold on a second. Every time I get that ding! Right. Alright, so this is what I got so far. Okay. And so let's read scenario two real quick. Oh, there we go. So, part one, Julie and Alex have continuous arguments as a couple. She writes it in her diary. It also talks about a forum where they talk about the reality of the world. Um, a user, a user named, uh, named Colt, tells him about the organization called Stella Porta. They begin to have conversations more often and through private messages. 
Part two, the cult user, the sectarian, sends her a contract where he sets out the requirements to be accepted at the Stella Porta. The most important condition is that she gets rid of her husband and Julia decides to end her life. Oh, shit. So she would ensure that he does not kill her. I would search. Oh, the first part of the plan is to buy a butane cylinder. Wow. Part three. Convinced of what she has to do, Julia takes advantage of her husband's lack of sense of smell since it is spring and Alex suffers from a very strong allergy. When he comes home from work, he goes into the bathroom to relax and often falls asleep. That's why we we seen his idea on the toilet. The wife takes advantage of that moment to pass a gas dispenser connected to the butane cylinder under the door, thus causing the husband to die. Oh, causing the husband to die from poisoning without realizing it. Oh my God. That's nuts. Part four. Once dead, he wraps the corpse in a towel and drags it from the bathroom to the car. Julia tries to start the car, but it doesn't start. To try to fix it, she used tools, but it is impossible. Very nervous, Julia decides to leave by other means means and leaves all the evidence of the crime behind but they're saying she's missing so she's still alive so she was planning on suiciding herself because she thought that that alex was gonna kill her but instead she basically killed him while he was in the bathroom and so the cult leader came and tried to cover up the evidence and then put his put the guy's body in the, in the back of the trunk that's nuts okay so now you gotta go to scenario three Next case. Yo, I'm liking this game. <laughs> wow. Case three, collateral damage. We have a missing 28 year old male and two bodies. A neighbor called a patrol because he heard a shot at dawn. Upon arrival, the patrol found two bodies. The missing 28 year old man has a history of violence. He was currently under surveillance for belonging to radical circles. Wow. Nothing else has been touched. Collect the evidence you find and take it to the police station. I guess we gotta come here. Oh, but maybe there we gotta go to different houses and shit. Wait, is that door open over there? Oh shit, we might have to search two houses now. How many we need? Oh, we need 13. Okay, same thing. Oh. Okay, we got one. Bowl cutter. Okay. Computer. Should we eliminate people with disabilities? Oh my god. My neighbor's wife has a mental par paralysis and her husband wastes time taking care of her. That's wasting time. Weak people must die. That's fucked up. Oh, these are just people from the cult. Sectarian, I believe that you are right. In these times of decadence, society is dis dis disintegrating. I like to talk about it by a private message. Maybe that's too crazy. Yo, this is nuts. Oh, boots. Dirty boots. Okay. Really? I got a, I got a, uh, a trophy for dirty boots. I see a note right here. Hello, Henry. I hope you're well. I'm still in Spain in the Rota military base. You should see this, bro. The weather is perfect and the food is amazing. The beach is next to the base. This is paradise. I wish you would stop wasting your time with your conspiracy theories and enlist, brother. Don't let them fool you. You know I'm not good with words. I'm sorry. I've gone so far, but there's no work at home. I miss you. Aww. So I guess that we're eating, what was this? Takeout or something? With some tea?
Dirty ass dishes. Damn. Oh, there's another note. What's this? You have been chosen for Stella Porter Project. To complete your initiation, you must create extreme collateral damage. Oh my god, this is like saw. It's giving saw, bro. Oh my gosh. All the crooks and crannies. All the cooks and crannies. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Hold on a second. Use this. Oh, I think we did this already. Okay. Oh, we can't even open up the fridge. Fridge is stuck. Okay, nothing there. Okay. Oh shit, did I open up these? Oh no, you can't even open up that, that cabinet. At least these houses are not like huge and stuff, you know? Nothing? Okay, what about, oh, there's a, there's a well here, okay. The trunk? Nothing with the trunk? Okay. What? Who is... Oh, it's the flag movie? I'm like, who the fuck is behind me, bro? Like, who's clapping? Who's behind me? What? Okay, here we go. Okay, what is this? How to use an oxygen tank at home. Attach the tubing, nasal prongs, cannula, the oxygen oxygen regulator, nipples as re nipple as required. Nipple. Be sure to check the tubing is not bent or blocked. Adjust your nasal prongs, cannula, to ensure a comfortable fit. Set your flow rate to the setting provided by your physician. Avoid changing the flow rate unless instructed by your physician. Put the nasal prongs, cannula, in your nose and breathe normally. Jesus, I'm congested as hell <laughs> just reading this if you're unsure of whether oxygen is flowing you can test it by placing the nasal prongs canula in a glass of water important do not close the airflow so that I'm, I'm guessing that's the instructions no doubt I feel like this is like almost the ex exact same house. Okay, so we can open up this fridge at least. Alright, let's see what's in here. Anything? Anything? Oh, there's a long rifle over here. Okay. See a camera. I see some suitcases, some boxes, books. Uh oh, what's this? Footprints. Oh, we gotta go out there. There's something. Oh shit! Oh, you see the fucking footprints, bro? What? Oh, oh but the footprints stop here though. 
Oh, but it looks like this person that he oh no, he didn't open the door, but what the that's so weird. We had to go out there because I think that's evidence. But that's nuts. You see the person's footprints here, but the footprints sh stopped there. Okay, answering machine. Good morning, Mr. Jones. I'm Dr. Miller's secretary. I was calling him to set up Mary's next visit. The doctor thinks you should visit more frequently. I wait for your call. Okay. I, oh! Oh! Oh my god, bro! Oh! Oh my- Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! My dual sense- What the- I had to switch controllers. Ooh. Mari's body. Wait, do we have to- Oh my god, I don't even want to be near him. Oh my god. Mr. Jones's body. Fuck my life. Oh my god. Yo, look at the... Oh, look at the guns. This is scary, bro. Honestly, if I was a detective and I am coming around some bodies that were just killed off, shot at, suicide, I would be so sick and so scared, bro. I would be so scared. I'm sorry. So, all right, how many do we have? Okay, we need two more. Yeah, like I seen this. Would this be? Yeah, you see? What is that? Broken fence. That's what I'm saying, because it looks like someone broke in here from behind. Exactly. And then they came through here. We did this already. Oh, the gun. There we go. Perfect. All right. Use rifle. All right, so we are finished finito. And now we're going to go back and put everything together. Okay. Yes, police station. We're back at the office. Third time. Okay. All right, so now we got to put all these things together. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Unless, yeah, so, no, wait, cold butter, no, let's switch this. Oh, hold on a second. I forgot to put this here. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. I don't know if, if I got it right. No, I don't, I didn't get it right. We have to switch actually these two. Finally. All right. So let's see what it says. 
Part one, Henry is a young man who lives alone. His brother Daniel is in the military and is far away. Henry is a young man who is easy to manipulate and has been writing extremists in extremist forums for a long time. Henry believes that disabled people shouldn't be born and are a burden to others. Part two, encouraged by the sectarian, Henry decides to end the life of his neighbor, Mari, who is disabled. That's fucked up. To do so, he breaks into his neighbor's house by breaking the fence behind them while they are sleeping. Wow. He enters through the window and reaches the room where his neighbors sleep. Part three, inside the room, Henry quietly turns off the oxygen that Mari needs to live and goes back home. That's fucked up. Why would you do that? Leaving his dirty boots at the entrance. Lucas, her husband, does not, doesn't notice and continues sleeping. Mari dies overnight from the lack of oxygen. Wow, that's fucked up. Damn, so this guy was... So this guy was sleeping in the other bed while his wife was dying because of she had no oxygen. That's fucked up. Part four. In the morning, Lucas, who is suffering from post-traumatic stress, notices that Mari is not breathing and loses control. Desperate, he picks up a gun and commits suicide for not being able to bear the death of his wife. Wow. At that moment, Henry disappears, leaving a contract for Stella Porta. That is sad, yo. These these scenarios keep getting sadder and sadder. Wow. That is messed up. Okay. Stella Porter coordinates. Let's go to Stella Porter coordinates. You are in the right place. Oh, it's dark as fuck. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, the den. Oh, last words, Adern. The pain is killing me. I'm a coward for running away and not facing reality. I'm still in shock. Perhaps in the new world I can start over, but the guilt will accompany me throughout my life. That will be my punishment. I love my children. I'm broken. I'm not a good person. I'm not a good mother either. I don't know if I deserve a second chance. That's nuts. Sophia, I knew it. The door was real. I never doubted our leader. He knew how to open my eyes to reality. I have never been so happy. I feel free. My old life is behind me and now I can finally breathe. No regrets, no sadness, no pain, no repression. I can't wait any longer. I want to leave. Scary, yeah. Nah, yeah. Henry, I didn't want to write anything, but the leader has convinced me to... So here we go. Has convinced me, so here we go. Today's world is rubbish. I have no parents and my brother went to work far away. Daniel, if you ever read, read this, don't try to follow me. I know you won't understand what I did and you'll think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I have always felt that I do not belong in this planet. So I hope you feel normal in the new world. Today, the old Henry stays. I'm leaving as someone new. Wow. So I guess this is where they sleep. Let me go in here first real quick. What were they doing in here? Was this to like provide energy to these things here? What the hell? Open your eyes. Wow. Oh, what the fuck? Yo! Yo, it's literally a fucking portal! What? What? What the fuck? 
Yo! Cage animal? Where where the fuck are we? Oh my god, skeletons? Oh, this is a real place. Are we dying? We're passing out. Check the computer. Oh. We dying. We have no oxygen. Oh, I fell. Oh, nice. Thanks for playing. Thanks to the people like you. Small developers can continue working on what we love. Oh, yo, once again, shout out to the developers. Um, K148GS um and lurk it for the key code holy shit thank you let's go. let's go that was pretty cool i liked the game the game was pretty good i just felt like maybe um something was gonna jump at me like a jump scare but i like this game i love small indie games like this it's like pretty good detective stella porta case wow that is awesome! Loved it! Wow, it's so good. And it only took us under two hours. That's pretty good. It was a small little game. Pretty good. Once again, shout out to the developers and also lurk it for the code on this game. Guys, thank you so much. That was a good experience. So guys, I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.